Hey, Cancer. And all seekers, tuning in to your Cancer placement. Welcome to the existential shift. Welcome to November. <clears throat> I'm working with the Golden Dawn Tarot. And if you're new, hey, my name is Morgane. Welcome. Okay. <clears throat> Cancer, please show me what's going on with my Cancerian Seekers for this month. Almost. I felt the need to light a candle. So we have a candle here with us. Ten of Swords. <clears throat> the candle is definitely connected. It's not coincidental. Um, something is over. Over and gone with. Ten of Swords does not leave room for um, maneuvering. Um, it is dark as before the dawn. So whatever this <clears throat> ending that this represents, it's a moment before a dawn, which I believe the candle here symbolizes. There is light birth from this. And some of you, it really depends on the situation, what it is exactly. Some of you would be like, no, you don't understand. This was more than I could bear. And I don't, I don't see how there is a next good thing after this. And I'm not going to argue with you because you know it's a state of mind that feels something so deeply where it doesn't matter right or wrong true or false it's true in your world in your world right now and it's real and it's deep and you feel it so i honor it and i honor you and i will still continue and say that this will transmute into something different. This feeling that you're experiencing right now. Something is reforming. And I think something in you feels that, knows that. It's just kind of hard for you to imagine the next form right the next shape but you know it's happening kind of like the caterpillar that is in the cocoon and it's already melted into its molecular structure it's already started to you know reshape itself into a butterfly it just it doesn't know it's a butterfly yet it's now breaking out of the cocoon and it's going to feel the flight it just hadn't looked in the mirror yet But once it looks in the mirror, it's going to be like, wow, I am so goddamn gorgeous. There has been some sort of a betrayal, Two of Swords, that maybe looking back, you're like, yeah, the writing was on the wall, there were red flags, but as it was occurring, you didn't see it. You didn't, I mean, you didn't acknowledge it. You didn't, um, you're like, ah, no way. They can't, they won't do that. They're not, there's no way this person would do that. And yet, and yet they did, um, you can't ignore it anymore, and you can't deny it anymore. It is, it is what it is. Um, the chair. It's time for you to move away from it. This is you. 
it's time for you to move away from that. Um, it's not okay, it's not fair, but staying there <clears throat> is not going to change that, it's going to sustain the, what you're feeling or how it made you feel or how they made you feel. Maybe you can move away from their energy, but still stand up for yourself and stick up to what you know is right. And if there's something you need to fight for, fight for it. Um, if there's something you need to clarify, clarify. Um, if it's important to you, then correct it. The chariot here says no prisoners, no compassion for those who had zero compassion to you, no understanding those who knowingly or them who knowingly did something very hurtful. Something is coming back. Something is too many cards. Something is coming back to balance the scales king of wands and whatever energy has caused the Im that has caused the imbalance is going to try to kind of um, run away from it <laughs> kind of be like no I wasn't there I wasn't here I'm not here and you're like oh you were there. They're going to be ahead of it. Like if you insinuate that you're going to do something about it, they'll just find a way to... Um, move away from you, from it, from dealing. Ten of Wands, um, they don't want to deal with it, they don't want to fix it, they don't want to do the right thing. They don't. If this is something that is really important, you're going to have to chase it, chase them, um, fix it, you know, if it's a matter of legalities or anything, you know, use the extent of the law that supports you with whatever this is, if that's the case. Um, if it's something personal, they don't want to have that conversation. They don't want to apologize. They don't want to explain. They don't want to do any of that. They don't. Um, so it's really up to you to decide. Sorry. Hello? Usually uh, it shows um, spam risk my phone, but this time it didn't. So I thought maybe it's something important, but it, it was spam. <laughs> so never mind. Okay. Back to cancer, please. Show me more about this. Okay. We have the fool. Okay, so if you're wondering, the advice is no price for freedom. If it's something that you can let go of because you know that the cost will come at the expense of your well-being, of your freedom, of your um, joy. Let go. Um, seven of Pentacles, Three of Swords, Four of Pentacles. Though there might be, um, I'm picking up, and this is intuitive, so it's not for everyone. If it's not yours, just skip this next message. But um, something about um, a child. And custody okay so maybe there's a custody battle or um, argument over who gets to keep um, your child who get who gets full custody or majority of it or whatever um, the other side is very stubborn they're acting out of triggers and no sense, no common sense. They might not even be able to uh, 
you know, tend to the child, either financially or whatever way. Um, someone, it doesn't have to be financial. Someone is insisting from a place of uh, disappointment and, betray and sense of betrayal. It, it's, they're not even making it about the kid. They're making it more about their ego and making it more about winning. Okay, so... If there's a child involved, make sure you put the child's best interest at heart. And of course, especially fathers out there, you matter too. I'm excluding situations of, God forbid, abusive partners or um, negligent parents. I'm talking to, you know, by the most part to benevolent people where there's just disagreements between the partners or, or within a divorce or a separation uh, process. Um, so taking so so from there mom and dad matter man mom and dad are important to the kid okay there's no like oh because I'm the mom they have to be with me well if the mom is negligent and destructive and toxic and the dad is benevolent and present and great not not so much so no it really is a case-by-case -case scenario. I don't know your story if that's the case. Please don't be like, oh, why are you saying this? I, I don't know you. I don't know the situation. Okay? Um, but I feel like you're coming from love. Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Uh, you're coming from love. You're coming from genuine care. And it, now that, that was the scenario of a child, but it could be finances. Someone is holding on to something that isn't theirs to hold on to, or they're being very, very cheap. They don't want to give a dime extra. Um, this is great news. Six of Wands, the Sun. So if there are children involved, this looks good. This looks like a victory. This looks like... Um, A good result. There's Leo energy here. Um, now it doesn't have to be a Leo person, but Leo energy, something with charisma and fun and energy and love. I see an aspect if there's more than one kid of, of keeping them together, keeping the kids together, not separating them. These are advice, general readings only. Guys, please be discerning and figure out your own case, okay? Um, wow, Cancer, what an interesting reading. I see unity between two siblings. Maybe there were there are two siblings. Um, who share a common situation, like dealing with something, could be familial. We have the Ten of Swords um, above, so this could be like a loss. Well, not not now, not not present. God forbid, not come over. I'm talking in the past. Like maybe maybe there has been a loss of a parent, and now there's like okay, what's going to happen with the kids, right? Um, so. Also, when it comes to, there could have been some ugly family battle. Could be over finances, could be um, over custody, etc. Um, I see the the siblings. Um, you know, they victorious. I see them being victorious, I see them being supported, I see them succeeding. They might uh, be supportive of themselves, of each other, or of themselves. Um, I don't see a lot of family support. If this is a family thing, so the family is being obnoxious. 
absolutely obnoxious. Um, like very selfish, very greedy, very um, egoic. Like they, they, I see a lot of people talking about the well-being of these kids, but no one actually cares about the well-being. Like it's more like they're being used in order to express mightiness. Um, like it's just words, but the actions are very. Um, there is some slimy behavior. I'm so sorry, Cancer, if you're dealing with this. This is... But the good news is, with the Sun and, and the Six of Wands, so the innocent parties in this, which are the children, there's no doubt about it. I don't care if the kids are now grown. In this story, in this narrative, they are the children, okay? The... Um, the individuals that experience some sort of a loss and then soap opera and drama around that who will do what who will take care of what who will receive what um, King, I love the King of Wands normally, but in this reading, um, not a good guy, trying to get away with something, trying to um, convince that something that is not theirs is theirs. Um, there's some very good, very um, uh, self-centered energy. Very self-centered person. A know-it-all. Because this is a, a man who's a know-it-all. Who, um, who thinks he has some greater say over things. They're, they don't. Not at all. Tell me more about this King of Wands. How can Cancer deal with it? Tell me more about this King of Wands. The Cancer, please. Nine of Wands. So we have King of Wands, Ten of Wands, and then now to clarify, I received the Nine of Wands. This is someone that makes no sense but thinks they're making a lot of sense like it's like um okay this is like someone who read in a book that one plus one equals six and they keep saying one plus one equals six and if someone argues with them and says no -uh, no i think that's not true i think one plus one equals two they're like uh, no, one plus one equals six. Well, I read it in that book. And also, like, you're such an ignorant. I'm an academic. I read that in a book. And, and it's like, but you're wrong. Like, you're not making sense. So this person, and that's how adamant they are about nonsense. And you're like, wow, I can't even... He's like standing up for something. This king was like, I'm standing up for, and, and no, they're not. They're, it's just it's just like drowning in their own ego. It's crazy. Um, okay, the Hierophant is here. This means that it's like the truth is so clear. If it has to do with legalities, then the law is very, very clear. There's no warping around it. And this person, no matter how much they try, they can't, they can't succeed because... It's, it's black and white. It's like very, very clear. Um, there's a written agreement or a written, written contract or a written law uh, that can't be disputed. It is what it is. 
you know, like, and it doesn't matter how much this King of Wands energy doesn't like it. It doesn't matter what you like or don't like. And it's like they're taking something that they don't like personally and try to make it as if it's like objectively wrong. No, it's objectively right. It's just not fitting your own selfish agenda. So you're manipulating it into seemingly not being okay. It's like so... And if there are people around them that like listen to them, I, I can't help with the level of their intelligence, honestly. It's like someone is trying to steal something from someone and then they, f they have a very hard time stealing it. And so they're like, oh, they are trying to steal from me. So you need to give it back to me. But it's, but it's not yours. It's theirs. It's like, you know what? It's like I can't even explain how, how bizarre this brain works. It makes no sense. These people make no sense, Cancer. I'm so sorry. There are two siblings here that, that experienced a clear loss and they're going to win. It's like clear as day. Now, if, if this is a very specific message, so if it's not that, um, yeah, especially if someone is going to try to take this to like the court system or anything like that, it's like there's going to be a judge or, a, or someone that makes the decision that is going to be super like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Like the judge is going to be like, I can't. You know, you know those judges, they see, they see a thing or two about crazy people. You know, they, they experience a lot of like weird cases. And, but this one, they're going to be like, I. How are you trying to steal money from orphaned children? Like that's, that's like, that's how bad it is. That's how corrupt it is. And this person is telling themselves that it's, that it's right. It's just so, oh my goodness. Okay, let's, uh, let's figure out a different scenario, how this plays out for others of you, because this is very specific. So, you know, take it as an analogy, possibly. Um, six of Cups again. Family, childhood, the past is coming back. Um, Cancer, I feel like you are, like, coming back in, in, in Scorpio season to, like, set, set things straight. Something about your energy is, like, I know it sounds weird. I can't explain. It's like it's it's like it, your energy is like looming over something. You're like a fly on the wall. You're like there, not there. Honestly, Cancer, I'm, I'm, I'm very, very sorry. This feels like an energy that is um, that you're dealing with that is, um, like, I feel like it's making you sad. Like, it's it's just you can't believe that, that they would do that. You just can't believe it. It's like I, I feel you, like, looking at all of this and, like, If you guys want to tell me what this is about, although it feels personal, um, please feel free to share in the comments. Two sixes, two tens. There's um, an ending to a um, 
family illusion to an illusion of harmony. It's um, it's very disheartening. It's very, um, but you need it to know. Honestly, it's like it's good to know. And I see you standing up for what's right, Cancer. I see you like being like, no, bitches, you can't, you can't pull that shit. You're very disappointed in something. Can we mark this? The cancer seekers on November. Ten of Cups. The third ten. So once this is resolved. It's going to be very peaceful. It's going to be very um, calming for you. It's you're going to be like yeah, peaceful. There is there is family joy around the corner. There is harmony and love, um, but this first needs to be cleared like this is not this is not okay so I do see a very happy ending for these uh, two individuals that maybe were or, or an individual that was a kid during this loss or maybe still is a kid I don't know yeah there is a happy ending for this it's gonna work out if it's legalities the law is on is on the side of the truth, is on their side, like 100%. Um, if, it's, if it's like uh, an emotional thing, a psychological thing, um, relationship thing, um, then the person experiencing this is going to really brush off these people or this person, this king of wands, or the people involved in this. Um, If it was a, um, a dispute over custody, I see you. I see you with the kids. I see. I see a good result. Um, what if this has nothing to do with all of this? Is there anything else? Page of Princess of Cups, uh, Knight of Pentacles. Um, no, honestly, I feel like this is the story that wants to come through and you can take it as an analogy to something else that is happening in your life. Or maybe something that has happened in the past that is now somehow returning to be unfolded. Um, I will continue this reading in your extended. I will pull cards right now, available below in the description box on Patreon and on Vimeo. We'd love for you to check out Patreon. This is the perfect time for it. Um, and if you're new, subscribe and join the Existential Shift. Thank you for being here. Good luck.